everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. White clean slate. We are talking top five perfumes for the month of July. It is steaming hot. And I have a very particular film playing in my head this month. I don't know what it is, but it definitely reflects itself in a very bizarre, almost thriller slash drama-esque way on the perfumes I'm using. So let's get into this movie right away. Um, now, you're going to be shocked, right? I've been using this one for, gosh, half a month, maybe? And it's half empty already. Two or three, let's say three weeks of using it. And I mean, if I lay it flat, you can't see because then, you know, but uh, you can see <laughs> half a bottle is missing. Paris Riviera by Chanel. Mm. I bathe in this. It's so refreshing. It's light, but at the same time has character. In the morning, after showering, I, you know, have to blow dry my hair because it's really long and, you know, because I sweat at night, so I have to wash it every day. And then blow drying it also kind of overheats me, so it's a mess. So this really helps me after that kind of regain that fresh mood and vibe. Not just that, in the dry down, it just turns into a delicate, delicate, warm... Not warm in the sense of heating you up in summer, but just a clean, warm, powdery hint that makes you feel kind of dry in the heat type of scent. So I begin the day with Paris Riviera, right? Now, here, here's where things start shifting in many different directions, right? But we're going to choose one path in particular. Um... I like that powdery note, and I like that clean, clean feeling, despite the heat and the sweat. And I can't go on for many months without reutilizing one of my loves, which is Chanel's La Pausa. The Eau de Parfum. 28 La Pausa would be the Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum is here. Now, it's here because... There's something, again, connected to Riviera, right? Where, where we have that powdery touch here emphasized, enhanced by such a multitude of times that we arrive to a place where we are so clean that we penetrate to the other side of clean, which is dirty. And this is where the thoughts start kind of becoming dirty. And those dirty thoughts take us on that journey where we fantasize about lovers, dates, encounters, all sorts of things that happen in our mind and that we wish were to play out in real life, but at the same time, they stay fantasies. And we're aware of the fact that they remain fantasies, but those fantasies, precisely because they're in our mind, become more vivid and real than what would or could play out in real life. Why? Well, because the fantasies are always so precisely defined in our own minds and souls that if we really go by them, we will never really be able to live them in real life, um, meaning no matter what encounter can occur or happen, it will never be as powerful and as one-to-one -one as the expectation that we allow ourselves to build up within from our fantasy. So the fantasy will always be more powerful than the real depiction of that fantasy if the fantasy comes first before the actual play out of the fantasy in real life. So, because this is a fantasy, the strength of it remains within its core of a fantasy, framed by fragrances. So, that clean, clean, clean that penetrates into the naughty thought leads me to fracas. 
by Robert Piquet. Now, oh gosh, that tuberose, the bubblegummy artificial synthetic note in here mixed <laughs> with a reminiscence of 30s florals. Now, check out my review on my YouTube channel of Raka if you want to go into that film noir atmosphere and tension, if you want to know more about Fraka. But, link will be in the description box down below, but also maybe at the end of this video. But this clean shifts into this dirty. But it's not quite dirty yet, but it is an idea of where, where are we going? Now that tuberose, that particular type of tuberose in here, which is overpowering, mostly really complicated, dosing it is really tricky, using it in a cloying summer heat is actually not recommendable at all, and yet I find myself veering towards it over and over and over and over again in the heat, particularly after, let's say, 7, 8 p.m. I'm actually wearing it right now, right here. Oh, gosh. Uh, delicious. Um, been wearing it the whole day, actually, not just, you know, not just in the evening, but also in the morning, uh, in, the, in this particular case, on this particular day when I'm filming. Now, this is where the tension starts growing and the need... And we're going into dark territories here, so you're warned if, you know, th 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 we're dark. Nah? So if, you're, if you don't want to hear this, stop here. I don't know how many of you have this need sometimes of... How do I put this so that you don't misunderstand? when sometimes we are, we find pleasure in being in some way self-destructive. Or better said, sometimes the pleasure, and you know, fragrances are connected to a lot of emotions and a lot of pleasure and sensuality, uh, sens sensuality, uh, sensitivity, you know, young girls, innocent uh, virgins, you know, centuries ago, we're not allowed to even smell tuberose flowers because it was said to give immediate orgasms. So, you know, there's this... Perfumes are connected to that. We don't have to debate that. That's, of course, fact. Now, so... Um, sometimes, don't you have that desire to be hurt in a sensual way? When you go into that dark place of feeling yourself so deeply and, 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 and you need something so powerful, deep and intense with somebody that you know it will hurt. No pun intended. Psychologically. And, and you want that pain. You kind of want to hurt you in a way because you know that that type of hurt will readjust your mechanism, it will reset something inside of you so that you could reset back to simpler ways and simpler fantasies. Something that will let your boiling hot spirits go for a moment. Because you're all wound up and the tension is intense and in the heatest, most hot heat of summer, you want to you want somebody to hurt you in a way, and then you veer towards this. Our douchebag du jour, Sauvage. Yes, I do use it in the midst of night, believe it or not. Sauvage plays a role in this movie. Now, you can check out the review I made of Sauvage. And um, this is the douchebag we love to hate, or we hate to love. It's a, this is Diodo Toilette, the first formulation released of Sauvage, by the way. We set up our whole being, and we know that this douche is going to hurt us. 
We know it's going to be a one-night stand, and we know we're going to wake up the next day thinking, what the heck did we do? Why? And yet we go for it. We want to feel that ratchetness within us. We want to feel, in a way, used. Now, mind you, do not read between the lines. I'm sick and tired of political correctness out there. So by being used, do not even try me. Do not even go into that direction of, oh my God, you're not allowed to say that. That's not what I'm intending. I'm talking about self, personal, deep digging within yourself. This is me with me. There's no other person here. It's when you feel like a particular type of pain from within needs to be lived out with yourself. Interpret it as you will, but don't come at me with political correctness because I ain't having it. You want that douche to hurt you and you want to feel it and you want to feel the pleasure of that self-entitled cretin, if you will. You want to feel it and you prepped yourself throughout the day until it gets there. And once you get that and once you've experienced it and once you've lived it out, I find no other way than to either fast forward into the future or travel back into time to reset some buttons that you're only allowed to really understand that you can reset after you've experienced the experience with a douchebag. And that reset or fast forward can only be achieved with aura, the first aura, the first aura release, which is the Eau de Parfum. Check out the review I made on Aura by Thierry Mugler, also on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a special one. Um, for those of you who have not seen the review, I do not wish to spoil it for you. <laughs> there are surprises in there. And it's um... also for those of you who have seen it, please don't spoil it in the comment section under this video because some people might still wish to watch the review and get surprised on their own. Anyway, Link will be in the description box as well as at the end of this video. Aura. Aura is a reset button for me and I use it before I go to bed. That's my July before I go to bed scent, right? It, it gives me a notion. It's like a clean slate that understands, accepts and allows a reset button to be triggered within me after this story has played out, after the movie has played out, after the damage has been done. Aura is damage control. <laughs> but the funny thing is, you see, what's so good about Aura is that Aura plants a seed as well in the past for the future to restart all over again and repeat itself. And as we know, human beings are the most stupid living creatures on this planet. We never learn from history. We always repeat the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. And we never learn from our mistakes. Just check out the political situation at the moment. This movie plays out over and over again in a loop. It's a vicious circle, you guys. It happens over and over and over again. In fact, this is my top five perfumes for the month of July. But it is kind of a little bit also the story of my life, if you, if you may, or if I may say so, because it is a repetition, it is a need, it is a, a concept of self-preservation or self-destruction at the same time. It is the cycle of life and in the loop that kind of we live through throughout our existence until we are no more in many, many, many ways. And this can play out on a sensual level. It can play out, of course, in a partner sexual level. It can play out in a business level, intellectual level, cultural level, social level, what have you. We begin in many ways clean and fresh. We end up really dirty, ratchet, and then we kind of try to find ways, buttons, keys to rewind and start all over again. We don't think we're starting all over again, but we do fall in the same patterns all over again. And those patterns, those patterns ultimately, deeply and intimately, maybe even subconsciously, 
inside of us feel so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked my top five for the month of July. Let me know what yours are. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I'm also on Patreon where you can see special previews and also exclusive videos as well as photos only exclusive to my patrons. Thank you so much for watching. Never give up on love. See you soon. Take care. Bye.